Today on Suncoast View, solving the traffic troubles around the Ringling Bridge for both drivers and pedestrians. And it's still steaming hot out, but fall fashions are all in stores, and our fashion experts are here to help us transition and stay on trend. And you don't always get what you pay for when it comes to wine. We'll learn secrets about budget bottles that taste great. All that more right now on Suncoast View. Welcome to the show, and welcome back to one of our fashion experts, Terry McKee, looking very fashionable. Oh, yes. oh, thank you. Fun thank you. shirt. Thank you. Summer is in. Yes. <laughs> and will florals stay in? Because I bought a whole bunch of them for summer. We're going to talk about that. Uh oh, mm -hmm. I hope. <laughs> I hope, I hope. Because you know, I'm guessing until the end of the show. Well, and for a long time, it was kind of not on trend yeah. on TV for certain to wear any mm -hmm. kind of print. But yeah. now you look all over, you know, national anchors and mm -hmm. entertainment yeah. and everybody's in print yeah. so I know all of us have picked up some prints this yeah. season. Yeah. It used to be matronly so I hope we're not going back to that. Right. Well, like I tell you guys everything is a transition it's coming back so hey you never know. Oh I've saved clothes in my closet for 40 years and they have not come <laughs> back again. <laughs> but many do. Bo Beth is right yeah, about absolutely. that. So we'll see what is coming back for fall. So hard to think about when it's this hot but I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready to think about different colors and cooler temperatures. We'll see if we can find some. Let's see who's in the kitchen today. We welcome back Lisa from Hosted Gourmet. What are we making today? Hello. We are doing uh, labor less Labor Day appetizers. Try saying that. Labor Day. <laughs> Sounds good, though. <laughs> All right, but I like the concept. So how to do something fun for Labor Day without laboring? Yes, instead of going to the grocery store and just picking up, oh, I'll take that macaroni salad over to my friend's house. This is appetizers, fun, that you can do. Super, super easy. Okay. Easy. I like that. I like that. Good. I actually just rejected the idea of having people over for Labor Day because... Because you didn't want to labor. Because, uh, well, I'm laboring here the first <laughs> half of the day, and I thought, I don't want to go home and labor anymore. But, you know, that's it's so not a reason to not get together with friends and family because you don't want to put out the effort because there's so many shortcuts. You just have to learn them. Let them bring the food. That's there another good yeah. shortcut. <laughs> I'll be working on that one, too. You're All hosting. right. So last night, I'm literally yelling at my teenage daughter to turn off the television and do her homework, and she's like, if you'd stop yelling, you'd know these people are from Sarasota. She was watching America's Got Talent. So I stopped and I looked and do you remember the Circus Sarasota act of George and Natalia Pompeo? They have the dogs. They've actually been on our show. They yes. did this act on America's Got Talent last night to the song Roar by Katy Perry. They dressed their animals up like lions and zebras. It was amazing. I remember that white dog from the show. Well, and they had about eight different dogs that they brought on stage, performed for the America's Got Talent wow. judges. I sort of just watched with my mouth open only because I thought, what are they going to think about all these dogs running around crazy? Their daughter was involved. Simon loved it. Ooh. He you loved it. You never know about that guy. You really don't. His eyes lit up and he said, this is the type of family act that made me want to do America's Got Talent. And I was so proud that that's the type of family act we feature right here with Circus yes. Sarasota. How do you not love that? To get a dog to do some of the tricks that they're I, doing, I'm that's amazing. You. And it the is. dogs love it. They're having a great time. I know they t they pick dogs, like if the dogs are going to stand up here, they pick dogs that like to jump up here. They want to do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. The best was the conga. At the oh, end. yes. The dogs and the did dogs a conga were line. looking at the camera. Ah! In line with each other, at the it was really, really funny. So yeah. just know that the Suncoast still being well represented on America's Got Talent. I don't know how it works right now. I didn't stick around to stay up for the voting, but I'm assuming since the feedback was so great, hopefully it's America will good. vote them forward. Oh, that would be wonderful. We'll get to see them again, so we'll keep Does you Does the winner get a million dollars? Something wow. like And they get a year's contract in Las Vegas. Wow. wow. Very impressive. Maybe we so. should have done something. <laughs> <laughs> we could work up an act. The dogs are talent. better. <laughs> the dogs are better than we are. Oh, we've to... got music coming up. There may Hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is time for our first hot topic, and it's how to solve the traffic troubles at 41 and Gulfstream to get across the Ringling Bridge. So the city is looking into adding another left turn lane to get off the bridge, plus a third lane on 41 for direct access to Fruitville Road. However, this brings up concerns about pedestrian safety. A pedestrian crosswalk is planned, but it would stop traffic when people request to cross, and that further backs everything up. So definitely a delicate balance 
balance here. I got to admit, I'm worried about the pedestrians now mm -hmm. that we've got the condos, the Westin, mm -hmm. a lot more people wanting to go back and forth. Yeah, I would be afraid to cross there. And that area, they barely have sidewalk space in mm -hmm. general. So we're there going to find the space for another lane and all this other stuff they're planning. It, it's beyond me. I don't understand that. I think it's on the east side that's going to have to crunch in a little but bit more. But those are condos. Yeah, it, uh, they are. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's going to be interesting, but uh, you know, it's really hard to get from one side to the other, but you've got to go from the waterfront to downtown. There's Marina Jacks, there's the Marina. There are all the events there. We have so many events Why can't there. we build a bridge? That's what I think. Up we and over. We've talked about it. Michael Donald Edwards is a huge proponent. He yeah. lives over there. Mm -hmm. I think that would be the best solution. A, a bridge and then also a, um, a crosswalk in the air, not necessarily where right. you're crossing on the street level. Yeah, so you would go up and over the, yeah. the bridge. I bet it's money. I have a sneaky feeling. Well, I'm this sure. This city can find money. They find money for the things they want to find money for. And you're still spending money by doing lanes and crosswalks and all that. I mean, you need the lanes to move the car traffic. But, mm -hmm. I mean, if we're trying to promote the livability of our mm -hmm. downtown area, you know, we want people to live on the other side of 41, but we also want them to walk over. I'll admit, we actually stayed at the Westin for one night, the new hotel. We Ubered downtown, which is only a five blocks. You but it's from the West End to... Because of crossing. Wow. Absolutely. Because I didn't want to have to cross, walk, cross back. I was wearing high heels, Okay, too. people that stay at the West End can afford to Uber. One I mean, block. I get that. <laughs> I still wouldn't do, because I see people walk from the Ritz, and yeah. they walk yeah. down. I mean... But I would probably, you know, I, but I'm a little bit more free spirited, so I would just probably dash across the street. Uh, but oh not but to no do one, that. no one wants to to put themselves in that situation yeah. willingly. No, you've got to find a way to do it safely because these are our tourists, so we've got to protect it. Our yeah. money. <laughs> They've yeah. got our money. We need to find a way to walk, that is for sure. Well, Floridians could soon not be allowed to use food stamps to buy soft drinks. A Republican state representative has filed a bill that would ban people from using food assistance benefits to buy soda. Supporters of the bill say the government benefits should only be used for healthy, nutritional food. Opponents say the legislation is violating people's rights. The New York Times reports that 10% of food stamp dollars nationwide are spent on sweetened beverages and that includes things like fruit juice what do you think well your your rights that they say are being violated are not to have somebody else pay for your soft drinks your rights are to eat to have to have basic food and water so it's not good for you well why don't we just become cuba and have someone dictate to us what we can use and how well you don't have to take food stamps this is something um, to help you get through and it's better if you eat a, a nutritious thing than waste the money on a soft drink well Right now, people that are on food stamps are already limited. You cannot use food stamps for everything. That's one. And then mm -hmm. if you're on food stamps, it's usually not willingly. You're doing it True. because you can't afford it. But why would you but get you soda pop as one of your bonus? I mean, what's that doing for that's you? Extra. Because people drink soda. Well, well they, they should. drink water. Yeah. I mean, but again, that is... That's our opinion, but if that's something you want or you like, who are we to but say? You want don't. cookies, you want cake, and you shouldn't have it. And people, they should have the basics. All right, Terry, help them out. Well, it's a slippery slope because who decides at what yeah. point what is For some people, that might be the only treat their kids get once a month. Is you know? Soda? On the other hand, I think soda. Well, uh, we won't go we, there, no, but no, well, it's not a healthy alternative, my, for sure. Yes. No Son one is says to me all the time, Mom, you gave me Coke. You should not have done that when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> no one is saying soda is healthy. I definitely right. think it's not the best choice. I, you know, my drink habits are water and milk, unless it's alcohol. But that's a whole other <laughs> issue. But my thing is... Just because I don't want it, who am I to say that you can't have it all? Because also? we're giving you money so that you can get by. Have uh -huh. food that you wouldn't otherwise be able to have so that you can be healthy. I want children to have healthy food, and I understand that there are people that cannot provide that because of unfortunate circumstances. On no way do I want to buy soda for children. But the. Right. the if you go to the grocery store and you see that little sign that says WIC, that is the only items that food, um, uh, that uh, That's the women stamps, and the children. Those, and those are yeah. the things that food stamps can be used for. Mm -hmm. You can't use food stamps for everything. And this is under the SNAP program, yeah. so I'm not sure if it's a little broader. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sure no, exactly stamps, where the restrictions go. Food stamps go. have specific restrictions, Very true. and you only can use them for certain items. So you why aren't we restricting soda? Well, well you can only get so much. Each person only gets so much. That much should not be used for soda. It should be used for something they have to have. 
or they need more. They're not going to get extra to buy soda. They're no, giving they're not. Up a they no, I know that's yeah. my concern. Yeah. Is that we're not up having a real an apple food. because we're having a Coke uh -huh. or you know? Yeah. I just I think I agree. It's a slippery slope. Yeah. I'm not into yeah. dictating everything everybody does. But if if we're going to provide assistance, which I certainly think we should, I would like there to be the most bang for our buck. And I wish yeah. I hadn't given my kids that when they were young. So yes, I, will. I, I would like I'm to help these other people out <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> so they don't get yelled at by adult children. Well, someday. just know that it is going to be debated at the state level now as well. <laughs> so apparently we think we get what we pay for when it comes to wine. A new University of Bonn study says our brain actually tricks our palates into liking the pricey Pinots more. By having people do blind taste tests and hooked up to an MRI, it was found that the part of our brain that forms the reward and motivation center was more active when the wine was labeled as expensive. The same was found in chocolate tasting, which I think is hysterical. So it's now thought that you can actually train yourself to overcome a placebo marketing effect. Mm, Your you brain don't... reacts more when you think it's expensive. Well, people have told me I should not drink white Zinfandel. My <laughs> husband criticized me. He wouldn't even be seen with me drinking it. Well, I have said I'm going to drink what I want to. So I think when I drink white Zinfandel, I have that reaction. Boy, I'm being strong and powerful. <laughs> Nobody's going to stop me. I like this study only because with the marketing, you know, they t always tell you what is better, what mm -hmm. isn't better. What, and, and apparently you can work on your brain to counteract to believe that. that. And we're actually going to work on this ourselves a little bit today with some budget wines. I just kind of, I can't believe that wine is such a serious deal that we're hooking each other up to MRI so <laughs> <laughs> right if I like it. That's where I'm stuck. It could be seriously expensive, so I'm all about finding ways to avoid that cost. So there's nothing worse for a parent than being ignored by a kid, especially on text, because you know that phone is right there next to him. So a dad created the app Reply ASAP, which seizes the phone screen and sounds an alarm when a parent texts, forcing the child to respond <laughs> if they want access to their phone again. The app also shows when the kid reads the message. Right now, this Reply ASAP is only on Android, and it will be released soon for iPhones, but there is another app called Ignore No More that allows parents to remotely lock a phone. I think this is hilarious. I, I think I'm downloading it. I'd like it. to have it on friends' phones <laughs> so that when I text them, they have to answer. That's fine now. <laughs> well, seriously, it is frustrating when you know friend or kid that they have the phone mm -hmm. in their hand, and it's like, don't ignore me. How do you me. know they have the phone in their hand? Because 90% of the world has the phone in their hand, <laughs> right? I don't know. I mean, if I, I am guilty of texting my husband from the house, just if we're far away or I don't want a kid to hear something. What? I know you're sitting there with that thing on the hand in your couch. It's like, I can see you. Yeah, I can <laughs> see you. I can see that phone. I can see you pick it up and read it, and I can see you ignore me. And, and did, oh, did that's encourage amazing. you to walk in the other room well, and tell him that? That happens the next time. That's the first attack is on, and the same with the kids. The first attack is on text. Right. The second attack, I'm in your face. I see, I see. And even if it's not in their hand, it does sound an alarm and lock down the Phone. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, it would be perfect uh -huh. for emergencies, for yes. sure. Exactly. The where are you and when are you coming home <laughs> yeah. I love that idea. Oh, yeah, I thought you'd like that. And I'm <laughs> absolutely, I love that dad I mean, for growing up, up I would have just been afraid not to respond if <laughs> I, you know. I know. I'm but. still working on Would you come raise my kids? <laughs> get some fear in them. Well, now that the eclipse has come and gone, here's the big question. What do we do with those glasses that we worked so hard to get? Well, you can save them. NASA says they will not expire as long as they aren't scratched. And some people in the country will see a 2024 eclipse. Here on the Sun Coast, you'll be storing them till 2045. Or you can recycle them by mailing through various astronomy clubs. You'll be able to find them online. They're going to underprivileged students in South America and Asia because they have a 2019 eclipse. Oh, okay. oh that's I a great that idea. That was a really great idea yes. because I know many of us scrounged around and yeah. even paid a fair amount to get glasses. I just so. used other people's. <laughs> well, Let me borrow it. So <laughs> if you have them and would consider mailing them off, there's recycling clubs you can look for online. All right, we're going to check out our happy hour forecast when we come back. Some incredible condos in Suncoast for sale. Good afternoon. I'm Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan with your, again, first alert forecast. We finally got some rain back into the picture. That's a result of the tropical wave that we continue to watch. It'll continue to sweep these showers our way. The first round has moved through parts of Siesta Key, downtown Sarasota, 
and now near Whitfield Estates and heading toward Bayshore Gardens. Activity not all that intense. It is uh, some pretty heavy rainfall, but nothing severe at this point. Notice that surface boundary heading toward Parish that will generate other showers to the north of the one you see right there on State Road 70 near I-75. Other showers will be popping up along that surface boundary. And then this line of showers continues to kind of pinwheel in our direction. We can expect more showers down the road, so it's not quite over. You may have already had a brief shower. Expect a few scattered showers through this evening. And then again over the next couple of days. In the tropics, Harvey's gaining strength in the southwest gulf. And we continue to watch that tropical wave over south Florida. More on that coming up today at 5. See you then. The Sun Coast has a reputation of being a tough place to afford a home, but there are definitely hidden gems that are extremely affordable. In today's Sun Coast for Sale, realtor Andrew Haddad is here with incredible steals on Sun Coast condos. All right, I'm a little skeptical. You said That's incredible right. steals, but are well, there really good deals? There, there really are. You know, I love this episode because we bring, you know, million dollar homes and, you know, homes of all types and everything. This time, we're going to bring some affordable deals here in Sarasota. Wow. Literally, we're starting under 100000 in great. Sarasota, is which is unheard of. There's more expensive cars driving down the street. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no I know. Doubt. Anyway, right here, this is in Southgate. So, um, Southgate, it's right next to the Westfield Mall or the old Southgate mm -hmm. Mall. You know, Cine Bistro, all those new things are right there. It's amazing. Wow. 85900 This is a two-bedroom one bath it's uh, 730 square feet look at the how this is outfitted stainless steel granite countertops great design it's got a um, uh, beautiful wood floors um, it has a, an IKEA space saver kitchen you know a 730 square feet you know you have to make the best of, uh, of yeah. the space there but look how this is outfitted hurricane windows I mean and then again this is in a, a beautiful community that you know has a pool and has Amazing locations, really close to Siesta Key Beach. Again, My thing is, it's under a hundred, and it's like it's outfitted like a, like a luxury yeah, condo. Yeah, it's, it's I know, the right? So that's amazing. We're gonna head a little bit up north. We're still in Sarasota. This is Sarasota Palm. So this is uh, right downtown, which is amazing. Um, this is right across from the Ed Smith Stadium or the Orioles Stadium. Oh, sure. um, again, beautiful. This has granite counters, wood cabinets, stainless steel appliances. It's fully upgraded. It's a one bedroom, one bath. So it's over 700 square feet. Um, and again, very highly amenitized community. This is a phenomenal clubhouse, uh, beautiful workout center, as you can see right there. And then uh, finally, look at the pool. I mean, literally, yeah, we're under right. 100,000. It goes on forever. And a, and a beautiful <laughs> condo. That's right. So I just, I love these prices, and I love this affordability and, and the beautiful place we live. Yeah. Next, That's we're true. going to uh, Glen Oaks. Now, this is a 55-plus community. This is a very active, very popular community. This is right across the street from Bobby Jones Golf. Uh, mm, golf okay. you know, mm -hmm. club and 110,000 it's like you have a blank canvas here you can do whatever you want with it it's beautiful it actually has newer appliances um, and then this one they have a full schedule of events for the community so um, I mean bocce ball and, and everything here you're gonna see a beautiful that's wood tile floors overlooking a, a nice little preserve there screened in lanai we got the pool we got the amenities and again great area tons of potential 109,900 Beautiful. Okay, wow. I mean, I don't know what to say about that. It's and then it's almost like a resort community with all the events. Exactly. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, with prices so low, you always think of the, the ratio of should I buy or should yeah. I rent? Yeah. What should people be doing now? Are interest rates low enough to allow, like, buying? You know, that's a great question, Bobeth. Interest rates are still low. And, uh, you know, with these communities, some communities do allow for, you know, conventional financing. Some others don't. A few of these do. You will need about 20 to 25 percent down for conventional financing in a condo community. Mm -hmm. Yet you put the numbers together, even at 100,000. I mean, uh, principal and, um, and interest. I mean, you're looking at three, four hundred dollars a month plus the HOA fees at, at three hundred dollars a month. That's crazy. And I mean, you can still buy, and it's a lot less than renting. You can't so rent it's, for that. Yeah, you yeah. can't rent for three hundred dollars. Exactly. Not in this area. <laughs> no. So I wanted to bring you this one. Look at the inside of this. That's Again, so very luxury. I just couldn't believe these. Um, under one hundred and fifty thousand. This is Swifton. So great location off Clark Road and Swift. It's literally less than a mile from the beach, and uh, beautiful um, upgraded. It's two bedroom, two bath. Over a thousand square feet. Oh my wow. gosh! Granite counters, stainless steel appliances, porcelain tile, high-end appliances. Um, it has a beautiful community pool, and you know the maintenance yeah. is maintenance free at two ninety two a month, two hundred ninety two dollars a month mm, for insurance, good. maintenance, all of that uh, with the condo community. So, and then of course, Babeth. I'm not. Has to be a dream. Has home. to be a dream home. <laughs> so it is 
just under $2 million. Yeah, we got this gorgeous <laughs> condo on Siesta Key. It's a three bedroom, oh, wow. three bath, um, and it's almost 2,700 square feet. So this is literally right across the street. At the very top there, you could have seen the beach. Um, but beautiful. It's a modern, very modern style on the inside, mm -hmm. yet it's still warm and, yeah. and comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, nice open floor plan. Oh, that is nice. uh, Perfect for entertaining. This is actually four stories, which is really cool. So we have our bedroom on the on the next floor up, and I mean everything's outfitted. And then of course we have a beautiful balcony um, up Ooh, top. Like and this is a western-facing condo, so you'll always get those you know gorgeous sunsets and everything. And this is listed by uh, Victoria Rank of Keller Williams Classic Group. She does a really great job. So That's again, beautiful. beautiful dream home. And even under though $2 million. it's expensive, I think technically for the what you're getting, that's a good Agreed. deal. Agreed. Oh, yeah. Good value. Yeah. Exactly. So. All right. That's well, it. thank you You're so welcome. much, Andrew. Now, if you guys want to get more information about any of these homes, you want to go to searchsarasotahomes.com. Thank you again for showing me and give me eye candy. <laughs> and next, we're going to continue on the budget. We're going to learn about affordable wines. We'll be right back. For the last 18 years, Samantha's Friends has been assisting people along the Sun Coast who have been challenged by catastrophic illnesses or affected by autism obtain a service canine. We need your help. Please show your support by attending our annual Celebrity Gala brunch and fundraiser. Call Sammy Lee at 941-448-8558 for more information. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything or nothing at all. Surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here at the Wannabe Inn on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, log on to wannabein.com. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I am creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah, yeah. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. Watch your Suncoast News at 6 on your streaming device for a chance to win a $50 visa. It's easy. Just watch weekdays at 6 for the word of the week. Then enter the word at mysuncoast.com for your shot at a $50 visa. We'll pick the winner each week. Good luck. Okay, I admit it. I can't tell the difference between a cheap and an expensive bottle of wine. I just know what tastes good to me. But there are wines out there that taste pricey, but they come at a reasonable cost. That's what I hear from Scott Short. He is from Fine Wine and Tasting on Main Street in Lakewood Ranch. And he's here with two perfect bottles for our budgets. So what I do is just go into the store and buy the most expensive one because I think that'll impress people. And not so much, right? Uh, yeah, you're going to uh, end up wasting a few extra dollars there. You don't need to spend that much. And sometimes um, it's not even worth it. Yeah. I mean, we've all run into that. Yeah. yeah. Worst thing is when you bring a bottle home and, you know, you spend you know, fifty, hundred dollars, whatever it is, and it just doesn't drink to right. that it's price. Just, uh -huh. eh. You just want to spit it out. Yeah. <laughs> Your guests say this is not very good. Yeah. So, so what did you bring us here? Uh, so we actually have three wines today. Uh, I bought a brought a uh, Pinot Grigio, um, and that's a really neat one. Iliana, beautiful bottle, um, mm -hmm. sculpted bottle, and it's actually a low carb wine, which oh. is really neat. 
Um, How convenient. The ladies yeah. will love it. <laughs> you got our interest. Yes. yes. But um, it's just a great wine that drinks above its price point. And really, when it comes to buying a bottle of wine or Dig stocking in. your cellar, that's that's the goal with anything. <laughs> oh, you're supposed to smell it first. I learned that. Okay, so yeah, how much like are that. we talking for price points? Yeah. Uh, so this is $16.99, and it's one that, oh, wow. you know, very reasonably priced, yeah. and it just really drinks above its price point. And what do you think, Terry? Nice. Yes? Yeah. Easily, would you right, have ever guessed right. that's a $16.99? No. 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 And the fact that it's low carb is a big bonus. Yeah. 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 And it tastes good. Yeah. Right. For me, that's um, the only thing I care about. Yeah. Yes. It tastes good. And In the end, that's all that matters. Weather. Yes. All right. Let's go to the next right, one. I got a thumbs See, up. See, they haven't drank this anything This is the one yet, I think so. I have. What is so, this So, uh, we have the Below, um, and that's from France. It's actually a really neat wine. Uh, it's only $12.99. Wow. And it got 93 points from Robert Parker. Mm. Oh. So, People, you know, I don't know who Robert Parker is, but I like 93 <laughs> points. Yeah. Yeah. And 12.99 yeah. for a red that is good is very rare. Yeah. So really, it's actually not that rare. There are a lot of wines out there that, at their price point, are just drinking well above, and this is a perfect example. 93 points rated, and um, I mean, you're spending. <laughs> Thirteen dollars. Yeah, that's I'm amazing. Not, poor Stephanie I'm down not there. a regular. All right, I've had to hold out. Now tell what me about the drinking? cab. Yeah. What are you okay. Drinking? So uh, the cab. That's our most expensive one here. But again, it drinks like a forty to fifty dollar. And bottle. how much is it? And how do you Third, say it? This uh, Apollo. Apollo. Okay. Yep. And uh, it's a cab. And it is thirty-one ninety-nine. Okay. Wow. And most cabs I know are often fifty dollars. Well, how yeah. do you know if you don't pick by price? How do you know? Well, one of the things we do at our store is we really, you know, we taste all of the wines before we buy uh -huh. them, and we try to select the ones that are the best value. You know, anyone can go out and spend one hundred and fifty, two hundred dollars a bottle, Absolutely. and it better be amazing. Okay. Mm -hmm. But to find those value for money wines that. You know, just really wow you. Great and, concept. You know, that's that's the goal. You need an expert to guide you. Well, you sure did good with these. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. And you can talk more to him at Fine Wine and Tasting. It's on Main Street in Lakewood Ranch. You can also find them online. And next, we're going to talk about fashion trends. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Consumer Cellular makes it easy to stay in touch with family and stay within our budget. Now our cell phone bill is only a fraction of what it used to be. Our average customers get everything they need for about $25 a month, and plans start at only $10 a month with no contracts. Consumer Cellular has a great choice of phones. Check out my new one. I picked this simple phone. I use my son's old smartphone. Kept my number too. Consumer Cellular has been an approved AARP provider since 2008, and members get exclusive discounts. It's a good thing Consumer Cellular is always there, because sometimes I need a little help. Sometimes. We're proud to have received the JD Power Award for highest customer service among non contract wireless providers. Over the years, we've seen a lot of change. We actually use change. Luckily, there are some things we can still afford, like, like Consumer, consumer cellular. cellular. Stop paying too much for wireless service. Switch to Consumer Cellular, and with our 30 day risk free guarantee, it's easy. Call 1 800 920 3084. Go online or visit a Target store today. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089.
Attention Sarasota and surrounding cities. After 25 years in Sarasota, Bacon's Furniture and Design will be moving to create Southwest Florida's largest and most dynamic furniture store. We must liquidate everything in the store at huge savings as fast as possible. Do not miss this opportunity to purchase quality sofas, bedrooms, dining rooms, patio furniture, mattresses, and more. All at the absolute lowest prices possible. The Bacon's Furniture and Design relocation sell-off. Nobody beats Bacon's. Tomorrow at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. Hello, I'm Jacqueline Matter. And I'm Ray Collins. A busy road on Siesta Key will soon close for several weeks. We'll tell you what areas will be impacted by the latest part of the ongoing Master Lift Station project tomorrow on Good Morning Sun Coast. Josh? And the first round of tropical moisture has arrived. But how long will this last? We'll let you know tomorrow. Tomorrow at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Welcome back to Suncoast View. We're going to check back in with Lisa from Hosted Gourmet, and we're talking about Labor Day appetizers. It's still so hot out. How do we keep things cool if we are going to do any outdoor entertaining? Well, you know, they have all those Tupperware, that you're pricey Tupperware, which I just, I don't even think it looks nice, but, you know, you don't want to go to someone's house and be like, oh, did you have her food? Oh, it didn't feel so good. This is an easy way. You put ice. You find anything in your kitchen that you can put ice in, and then you put it on top, and oh. it keeps it nice and cold without the idea. expensive plastic. Right, so anything mm -hmm. becomes the ice holder, and then you just put a tray on yes, top. Yes, and put a little table And then you cover it. it. Oh, very creative. Okay, we'll join you in just a few minutes. Bye-bye. Well, fall fashions are popping up in all Suncoast stores, so we wanted to find out what to wear so we can be on trend for the season as it changes. Our guest host, Terry McKee, is also the fashion editor at Style Magazine, and he's joined by Sarasota Magazine's fashion and beauty editor, Heather Dunhill. And you guys are going to tell us all about the fashion transition and what we need to do. So, it's, they say it's fall, but it's <laughs> hot out. <laughs> so, what should we do? Right. Well... Well, this, this new trend <laughs> is really made for us mm. because you're starting to th see things like florals and sandals and things that traditionally were worn in spring that you're going to see being worn into fall, and it's going to let you transition in a way. It's warm all over the place right now. It's true. So it's going to mm. let you transition in a way that there, it's a little different than spring and summer wear, but it's gear, and it's geared for fall. Okay, mm -hmm. and you brought some examples or some ex uh, pictures of the trends. So let's start off with florals, because I heard that's one of the big trends. Well, let's start with Terry <laughs> McGee. <laughs> <laughs> so always on style and trend is this guy with this beautiful floral. And I love a guy who, who's confident enough to wear floral and floral in color. So it's cool that he pulls it off for us to just kick off our day. <laughs> but that we have some Thank beautiful you. floral. You're welcome. <laughs> there are some beautiful florals, obviously. And all styles, all iterations, all designers are doing florals. So get used to it, fall in love with it because it's it's just so pretty. And what even a, what evening the, wear. Even evening wear. Wow. And it's yeah. not too much for fall because you know you think floral summer. Yeah, spring. Oh, yeah. And you know that's what wraps are for. So a wrap over a floral can oh. be really beautiful. And if you look at the lower left, oops, well. The lower left one was a little more autumnal floral. Mm -hmm. okay. it was so the darker, darker tone. Uh -huh. It is. It has tones. sleeves. And if you have one of those motorcycle jackets, throw it over oh, any I one of these that. looks. Oh, really? Any one of these looks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so kind of edges up a floral. Edge it up. It'll oh, be I like that. Way. Yeah. All right, and so what else, you guys? Sandals. Oh, sandals. This is this is exciting. Oh, this I know, is beautiful. Right? You're this is fun for sandal. us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so again, another another summer trend that's going to really easily transition into fall. Your fall wardrobe. This one's by Cassidy, and the fur trend is, it's been really escalating, and it's it's going to stay for a while. I love these with the pop of color with the hot pink in there. It's like a camo. And and when I heard this discussion going on about sandals in fall. I heard one lady say to another, but with bare legs in fall, and they said, you just got to grin and bear it, you know, so <laughs> that's what you do for fashion. But we will see open toe sandals, strappy stiletto sandals 
then fall. Okay, yeah. so here's my it's question. If we it's travel and we go to a northern city, we can still wear these shoes with bare legs? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Because here it's normal. This is not, these are not just for Florida. This isn't just a tropical. This is everywhere. Tro tropical. Okay. This is, this is, yes, everywhere. So they won't look at us like we're weird. A lot of these they trends do. we started seeing on hosts and anchors a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. where you were looking and you were like, well, obviously they're shooting in the studio, but they kind of look like they're dressed for spring and it mm -hmm. was the middle of fall. Mm -hmm. So it's been coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, it's been coming. The trend's been wrapping up for sure. Another thing that's been coming is Western looks. And I see this and I'm lo thinking, you know, um, it's time to go to like, a, I don't know, a, a hoedown kind of park. <laughs> a rodeo. Oh, a high end. <laughs> <laughs> high end hoedown, all right. Yeah, that's right. I mean, Calvin Klein, you're, you're going to, well, start looking in your Vogue magazines and all of, all of the hot tomes for fashion, but that's really, you'll, you're going to see the ads for these. Are, they're big, they're big. And you, it's easy, I mean, really, if you just wanted to do it simple, you can. And, oh, P.S., you see the fishnets on the... On the, the right side. Yeah. Yes, the third image over. Fishnets are huge. So, mm. Oh, and really? Huge. See, Linda, they do come huge. back. Yeah. <laughs> huge. Yeah, they do come back. I can't wait. I'm thrilled. And you thrilled. can have a taste of this. You can okay. have a taste of Western. And what's so great about Western is you can layer it yeah. as well. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so easy. Okay. Another thing that's layered is Victorian. Tell us about this trend. How pretty. Isn't this so feminine? I can't wait. Like, it's very it's regal to me. I feel like I, you know, um, I could be someone's princess or something. That's Victoria right. It is. Somebody. It's so feminine. It's truly an elegant. And it's, how easy is this to incorporate? I mean, just pick one, two. And you know what? I know we have some high-end names here. We're talking about Valentino, and you're seeing Balenciaga, and we're talking about the runways. They usually set the trends, but Zara, if you want something mm -hmm. like this and you don't want a big investment in Western or florals or that wow. I mean, Zara or H&M, they, they, they are so good about doing the trends at an affordable price mm -hmm. that you don't have to feel like you have to regret it, that if, if you invested that... Especially if it doesn't hang yeah, on. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And you're seeing as things are cooling down, we're warming up. So that coverage up here mm -hmm. gives you that little bit of protection. I love that. Mm. And speaking of um, warming up, Heather, your jacket is also kind of on trend with the broad shoulders. It, it is. That's one of the uh, concepts that we've, we have for you today is that uh, like there's a, the masculine male look with, you know, kind of back to um, the working girl movie of the... Yeah, 80s. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So she's... Her look has come back and the broad shoulders, yeah, so you don't have to love a shoulder pad with these, but definitely the broad shoulders. And it translates even into sparkly. I mean, did you see Katy Perry mm -hmm. on the cover of W? Yeah. Very emphasis. Uh, lots of emphasis on the shoulder. So this is where fashion gets frustrating, yeah. though, because we ripped all the shoulder pads out, no. yeah. and now we didn't put them back in. No, no, you don't need the shoulder pads back in. No, just, okay. just broad shoulders just, just no shoulder pads. Okay. That's right. She just was very clear about that. No, no, yeah, no shoulder pads. They're just they're, they're designed so that they're a little stiffer. And oh. really quick, velvet, right? Oh, velvet. Oh, so sexy. It elegant. Is sexy. Lux. And you Warm. definitely could Warm. do multiple but, things I mean, with it. Everything from shoes, your shoes. Red, oh, red, red. Yay! Do red. Red, embrace red. Do not shy away from red, even if you've never worn it. Try it on. You're going to love it. It's All right. Big. It's huge. It's a good like TV it. color, too. Well, it is like I am color. ready for fall. I'm so there glad. You <laughs> Tell Mother <laughs> Nature. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Now, you can actually look for Heather's Fashion and Beauty column in the Sarasota Magazine, and Terry's will be on Sunday in the Fashion um, Style Magazine at the Sarasota Herald Tribune. And... Hey, be on trend, even though the weather doesn't say it. <laughs> Next, we're going to get a new lesson with an instrument. We'll be right back. ABC 7, your official Florida lottery station for the Sun Coast. Growing up, my mom was afraid of the water, something she did not want me to feel. So I enrolled Missy in swim lessons. It changed my life. Missy Franklin. And now you can do the same for someone that you love. There's nothing more precious than your child's well-being. So act now, before it's too late. Make a splash! I'm glad I did. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Visit USAswimmingfoundation.org to find, get, or give a swim lesson. From our studios on Florida Sun Coast, this is an ABC7 News Update. Good afternoon, I'm Haley Wilgus. Here's what we're working on for 5 o'clock. After months of protests, people in the community get their chance to speak out what they think about a plan to build a recycling center near the celery fields. Plus, getting rid of the gridlock on US 41 in the heart of Sarasota, what the state plans to do on this stretch near Fruitville Road. Now, let's head over to Bob. 
Thanks, Haley. Your uh, first alert forecast is calling for showers around and some thunderstorms. Some heavy rain possible on now and again throughout this evening. Uh, you can see that line now moving through Hardy and DeSoto counties. Arcadia getting some heavy rainfall. Also, showers developing on some outflow boundaries into Bradenton, uh, heading off to the west now near Palmetto. Also, right along I-75 and State Road 64 uh, near Waterleaf. A few showers out on Siesta Key. These boundaries are going to clash and collide and cause more showers and storms to form. We'll have much more on this wet forecast coming up at 5. Start your day with a new Good Morning Suncoast team. Weekday starting at 5 a.m. Hamilton was adopted from a rescue in 2008. He really likes to be around people. And as soon as I start to make my breakfast, Hamilton is right there. I get out my mat and I'm doing a downward dog and he's underneath. He's quite the pug about town. He gets invited to a lot of parties. He knows he's a pretty big deal. I mean, look at this little face. I do not love him. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything or nothing at all, surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here at the Wannabe Inn on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, log on to wannabein.com. The kitchen is where life happens. Minnesota Flooring now offers a wide variety of beautiful quality craft-made cabinetry to make sure the heart of your home reflects your style. Visit us today at our new kitchen and bath cabinetry locations. A new school year is the perfect time to learn a new musical instrument. And Music Compound in Sarasota trains some of the Suncoast up-and-coming musicians. Jenny Townsend, the president of Music Compound, and instructor Savannah Brady are here to test our musical skills. Okay, ladies, we've tried solo instruments. Not done very well. <laughs> so maybe we should have a group effort. Maybe we should all play together. Yeah, possible? That's definitely possible. That's part of our mission is actually collaboration and bringing musicians together so they can perform together, play together, and learn from each other no matter what their ages or their talents. And so. it's less intimidating. <laughs> right, exactly. Yes. Yeah. And it's because fun you can't as hear well, us too. Them. <laughs> <laughs> so you can learn a new instrument and make new friends all at the same time. This sounds like a lot of fun. Perfect. So, Savannah, will you teach us a song? Of course. Let's, uh, we're going to work on a song called Chain of Fools by Aretha okay. Franklin. So let's try to start with the drum beat. Let's start with basic beat. Chain of Fools, does that have anything to do with your present group here? <laughs> <laughs> That's why she picked it. <laughs> right, exactly, perfect. So, now All right, so we're going to keep that beat. Now we're going to start with the guitars. Let's All right, so we preset our fingers, we're not going to lie. <laughs> and I haven't dropped it in like an hour. We're not allowed to move. All right. So, can we strum? Yes, All right, we'll wait, have them I'll count you in. One, two, one, two, ready, go. something that sounded good. Jenny, I have a question for you. Tell me about Music Compound and how you're trying to 
kind of spread the love of learning music. Right. So exactly what we did here today, we brought people that maybe do know what they're doing or maybe don't know what they're doing. <laughs> don't. And we, <laughs> I was going to say. We, we give don't. them um, the opportunity to learn a new instrument, but to also play together. So, for instance, Savannah is in our house band. So every second Friday, Savannah, along with other instructors, play with our students. So if oh, Beth wanted to be a vocalist, but she was a singer and she didn't play any instruments, Savannah would do backup vocals and play guitar with her, and Jared uh -huh. would be on the drums. So they get a sense of playing with a live band every second Friday, so they can learn from each other as Sounds well. Sounds very supportive. So, you're, so yes. just you know, you're inspiring me right now. So <laughs> well, I might be there. Well, right, I found well, my instrument. <laughs> so like, for instance, on Saturday, our Back to School Bash, Savannah will be performing, some of our students will be performing. So we provide that platform where they can gain stage and presence, work on their confidence, and really grow mm -hmm. professionally and mm -hmm. as an individual that will incorporate into life skills, not just with music as well. Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> and you're having a back-to-school bash. Yes. It's coming up this Saturday, August 26, and it is going to be noon to 4 o'clock. You can go down to Music Compound and try what we just tried. It was so much fun. And you'll hear Savannah you. and her yes. band sing, which yes. is so yes. exciting. Oh, you will love it. And we'll be right back. And, awesome. uh, Talk about Wrigley, I believe, and we now will. let's try it again. Oh, let's I dropped my hand. And not to mention, Big Top Brewery is going to be there, right? Yeah, yeah. We have a lot of vendors that'll be there giving away free samples. So, oh, take what it fun! Away, it's Savannah. free. Oh, okay, right. let's play. Get I dropped my hand. Come on, get our come on, coach. Going. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, I got you, Billy. I got you, girl. Hi, I'm Joan London with A Place for Mom. Over the years, we've helped thousands of families find senior care, and today's senior living communities have never been better. With amazing amenities like movie theaters, exercise rooms and swimming pools, public cafes, bars and bistros, even pet care services. And nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. These are local expert advisors that will partner with you to find the perfect place and determine the right level of care, whether that's just a helping hand or full-time memory care. Best of all, it's a free service. Call today, a place for mom. You know your family, we know senior living. Together, we'll make the right choice. Call A Place for Mom right now to get our free ebook on financing senior care, as well as a free referral for senior living communities in your area. Call 1-800-290-0352 that's 1 800 290 0352. Florida's coral reefs are declining. Bad news for our oceans and marine life. Fortunately, you can help, and you don't have to dive, you just have to drive. When you purchase Moat's Protect Our Reefs license plate, $25 goes directly to Moat Marine Laboratory, whose research, restoration, and conservation programs are helping this precious natural resource thrive once again. So get your Moat Protect Our Reefs license plate today. You just might hold the key to saving Florida's reefs. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7. You can't prepare for me. You can't prepare for the movement. You can't prepare for any of them. They're always confident. They all were confident, but it's a little different when you get to know what Floyd Mayweather. The biggest combat sporting event ever, the Mayweather-McGregor fight will have the world watching. I'm Alan Cohn, we'll have the story, and we'll get ready to rumble at the trapezoid. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. This is an important medical announcement. Xeralto and Pradoxa have been linked to uncontrollable bleeding and even death. If you've been prescribed one of these drugs and have experienced these dangerous side effects, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that Predoxa can cause more heart attacks than warfarin, and other countries have already issued safety warnings against this drug. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to Predoxa victims, and thousands of Xarelto victims are filing their legal cases. Call the Drug Watch Hotline if you or a loved one used Xeralto or Pradoxa and experienced uncontrollable bleeding, brain hemorrhage, or even death. You must call now. Call 800-793-6055. 800-793-6055. Welcome back. Well, I want to give you a preview of tomorrow's show, and this is the first time we've actually admitted this, but... 
Wrigley, our southeastern guide dog, is off to do great things. He is about to head to college, oh. and tomorrow will be his goodbye party. Oh. So it's a happy day is the way that we need to look at it because we adopted him as a puppy, as a group project, so that he could go on to help someone else. And he has been with us nearly a year. Those were his first couple. That is like his first weekend with us. So tiny, so cute. He came to us at 16 pounds. How much does he weigh now? 60, and he is oh. quite honestly a very petite black male lab. Wow. So I like that because, you know, a lot of people are intimidated by large animals. Mm -hmm. um, he's a smaller, That's big dog. Picture. Thank you. He is staring lovingly at my daughter in that picture. Um, so tomorrow you'll want to join us. We're going to talk about what his adventures hold next, but it will be his goodbye from us here at Suncoast View. So an emotional show oh. and one we're very proud of. We'll be talking about that throughout the show tomorrow. But first, we get to talk about appetizers and Labor Day. We're going to join Hosted Gourmet in the Kitchen for a gorgeous spread. Stay with us. The ABC7 First Alert Hurricane Guide. Download yours today. Attention Sarasota and surrounding cities. After 25 years in Sarasota, Bacon's Furniture and Design will be moving to create Southwest Florida's largest and most dynamic furniture store. We must liquidate everything in the store at huge savings as fast as possible. Do not miss this opportunity to purchase quality sofas, bedrooms, dining rooms, patio furniture, mattresses, and more. All at the absolute lowest prices possible. The Bacon's Furniture and Design relocation sell-off. Nobody beats Bacon's. From our studios on Florida Sun Coast, this is an ABC7 News Update. Hello, I'm Scott Dennis. Here's what's coming up at the top of the hour. A new chapter for a piece of circus history. I've got the fondest memories of, of a lifetime. A train car that was used by circus performers for decades is on its way to a new home where it's going and what it will be used for. Coming up at 5. In Suncoast Traffic Watch, right now there's a crash in North Sarasota. It's on Lockwood Ridge Road right at the intersection with University Parkway, slowing a little bit of traffic in that area. Let's get back to Bob now for a look at our weather. Well, your first alert forecast, Scott, is calling for a lot of rainfall over the upcoming days as a result of a tropical low that's expected to work across the state. You can see that line of showers from Wachula all the way down into Punta Gorda now. Some heavy rainfall continuing to move in our direction. Well, more on all that coming up today at 5. See you then. ABC 7, your official Florida lottery station for the Sun Coast. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-685-6422, 800-685-6422. It's summer on the Sun Coast, and you know what that means. It's Friday Fest season, and you're invited. Hi, I'm Ray Collins. And I'm Jacqueline Matter. Join ABC7 at the Van Wazel on August 25th for some funky Calypso tunes when John ja Movement Reggae Band takes the stage. Meet us there and party until the sun goes down. For more information, call this number. Or go to mysuncoast.com slash Friday Fest. Presented by Kettle Automotive and Cool Today. I love taking care of my mom. It wasn't easy at first. She learned how to better communicate her needs. And you learned how to not ignore yours. I discovered how to make healthier meals. And I discovered how much I enjoyed them. Becoming a caregiver is a learning experience for everyone. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. Because my parents told me I have to be responsible. Because my first coach told me, you can do this. 
Because my boss showed me how to do a good job. Because my teacher helped me see the choices. I'm swimming faster than I ever dreamed. I am a valuable employee. I discovered that I could work as an artist. I will be whatever I want to be. Youth with disabilities should grow up expecting to work and succeed. For more information, visit whatcanyoudocampaign.org. Coming up Thursday at 4 on Suncoast View, it is time to send our baby off to college. The time has come to say goodbye to our southeastern guide dog puppy, Wrigley, as he goes off for formal service training. You won't want to miss his emotional send-off. Plus, we get ready for this week's Friday Fest at the Van Wazel with the soulful sounds of jaw movement, and Center Ring Bakery joins us in the kitchen. And welcome back. We're here with Linda from Hosted Gourmet. Let's cook. <laughs> Lisa! Lisa, Linda. Lisa, Linda. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all good, Terry. Cook, you oh, me. Right. Forgive me. Linda, go ahead. That's all right. I will bow to you. <laughs> all right, so what are we going to make do? All right, this is uh, a uh, burrata bruschetta. It's uh, very Ooh. easy to do. Um, is, is everyone familiar with burrata? I what have is no burrata? idea what a burrata is. Burrata is. is one of the newest cheeses around. It's uh, discovered in 1920. It's uh, this family, when they were doing it, they stretched it out and they had all these extra little pieces and they're like, we're losing so much money. What are we going to do? And so when they pull it out, they put all the little pieces in there and they put heavy cream. So when oh. you open it up, you can see it kind of like it's yummy. Out. Oh. Yes. So yes. it's like fresh mozzarella, but creamier. Yes. Okay. We, we can uh, try by. All right. So what we're gonna do is make the sauce. I cut a um, whole bunch of the pretty grape heirloom tomatoes mm -hmm. and I salted them. Mm -hmm. You're gonna put a cup of basil, fresh basil. Cup of basil, a handful. Like a handful, and you don't have to be worried about the stems. Just put it in there. Okay. Got T it. In. Take control. That's good. Okay. All right. Got it. And then take the three cloves of garlic. Three cloves of garlic. You want to use white balsamic. I use white balsamic. Is this white balsamic? Mm hmm. Okay. I use white balsamic because it's not ugly like regular balsamic. Right. Doesn't you know, turn doesn't give it brown. brown. Right. And then um, some olive oil. This uh, is like half a cup? This is a uh, two thirds cup. Two thirds cup, okay. Um, no, excuse me, a third of a cup. A third of a uh, cup. Two tablespoons of honey. Two tablespoons of honey. Okay, this may be very slow. Apparently Maybe we could play some more music <laughs> while it goes in. There we go. Okay. And then um, a pinch of salt. A pinch. This is salt? Mm -hmm. One pinch. Okay. All right, now uh, put the lid on. Okay. It's good to give right. that instruction. Yes. Okay, now. And then hold, close down. Close down? All right. Oh, it's going. Yep. Okay, then, now give it to Terry. And then you want it, yes. All right, okay, Kat, we're next. On. So you want to twist it? Part of my reach. Yeah, you want it. And then. Oh, very lens. good, Terry. All right, Don't so what we're going to do Woo! is we're going to put this on here. We're going to okay. pile this up, the tomatoes. And this is Labor Day appetizers without a lot of labor. All right. Right? So look these how, are all easy. Look at how pretty this looks. It right? does. It yeah. looks great. And then the sauce. Still, it's still blending. Um, what we're gonna do, this is instead of putting, you know, like chopped basil, this, wait till you taste this, it's okay. amazing. Someone has to taste it, grab a fork. Don't okay. worry, are you Some, have to Someone's ask me gonna twice. be the guinea pig. All right. All right. But Beth and I are the eaters. Pardon. There we go. Okay. All right, then. Okay. Oh, that looks, oh, take looks a taste. gorgeous. Okay. Oh, just the sauce yeah. you want me to taste? Yeah. Okay, here, yeah. dribble it on we're gonna, oh, four. Four. <laughs> It doesn't matter, she, she has it. Oh my gosh. Right? Is it and good? you just put that on it's the top. Like it explodes in your mouth. Is oh, that the honey or the balsamic that, that, that makes it so like amazing? It wow. It explodes in your mouth, well, she said. Try there you are. Mm. Oh. All right, so yummy. then what yeah, you do amazing. is you want to mix it around. Or, you know, I have the gloves on, so I'm going to use my hands. Okay. And then you want to mix this around, and then you want to add the more, and you just kind of drizzle around top. Why well, not more? Easy. Oh, it's so good. So good. And then, pardon me. And then sure. people will take the sides that you have put on the Well, edges. then you're going to put your burrata. Now, sometimes oh. people are, you know, lactose, so, you know, you can put your burrata around the side. So maybe break it up. You okay, I have up. a clean fork, just for the okay, record. Yes. So then I make, like, a little tower, because I'm going to use cucumber. Yes. yes, so the cucumber would be for a gluten-free person. Or, you know, someone just doesn't want bread. Right. All right, right, so a little tomato, a little burrata. And you are our taste tester. And I then am. balsamic reduction. Please. There's so many great, Trader Joe's has a great one. Or you can make it with what, brown sugar and balsamic? Oh, don't bother. When there's, a, <laughs> when, there's, when, there's, when there's a good product out there, don't compete. Just use it. Look at mm. how pretty that is. How good is it? Mm. It is. Oh, it smells so good, too. All right. So All right. I'm going to try. So we're going to get you started. I'm in. <laughs> oh, there's another. <laughs> we have to work. another dessert. What else should we this be doing? This is a great dessert that is easy, 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 easy dessert to do. So you're okay. gonna. So it's a, a box of vanilla wafers. Okay. Okay. Um, 
uh, bananas. And where are we going with you're them? Gonna, you're just going to get in there and take control. And then a half a cup of uh, uh, um, Baileys. Mm. All right, my glove And you're going to smash that into there. In here or in there? Okay, you want to take that. Okay. And you want to pour that around really? all over. Yeah. Oh, this is messy. My kids would like this. This is <laughs> this is why we have gloves or not. <laughs> well, I have one glove. Okay. okay. So start mashing them around. So what you My would hands. do, you could put this into the small little glasses. The party store has them, or you can put them in a wine glass. In the front, you can see I put it in a little canning jar, mm -hmm. and you could use it too at a party. You could keep it on top of ice, um, and then. May, will you have me one, please? Yes. A finished product? Yes. Linda's dying to try something. I'm making you like a bananas? Bananas? <laughs> You're, you You're blood. <laughs> and then you could put this in a pretty bowl, layer it up too with the pudding. My glove isn't doing very well. It's okay. What it's is okay. Happening? And then Can I use a mallet? Well, you're so, supposed to have two gloves on. <laughs> well, so once it's off, brush that, what else do you do? Do you like that? Mm, yes, and I then do. you layer it into a glass. Let's show the finished product because it's absolutely beautiful. Terry, you should have one of those as well. Okay, All right, yeah, Lisa is giving us now. great <laughs> ideas for how to do Labor Day labor less. Mm. Easy, easy appetizers. I absolutely love the bruschetta burrata. You will be able to find that recipe on the website. And then what do we call the dessert? Uh, uh, Bailey's Banana Parfait. Bailey's oh, Banana so Parfait. All right. Great ideas. We are running out of time. Terry, thank you for joining us. Thank Lisa, you. this is thank genius. You. We are digging in. We figured out a way to Well, Beth, you're making a mess. <laughs> Take some time and enjoy the Sun Coast view. Thank you.